Reading from the book of Isaiah, chapter 42 in the message says, Take a good look at my servant. I'm backing him to the hilt. He's the one I choose. And I couldn't be more pleased with him. I bathed him with my spirit, my life. He'll set everything right among the nations. He won't call attention to what he does with loud speeches or gaudy parades. He won't brush aside the bruised and the hurt, and he won't disregard the small and insignificant, but he'll steadily and firmly set things right. He won't tire out and quit. He won't be stopped until he's finished his work to set things right on earth. Far-flung ocean islands wait expectantly for his teaching. God's message, the God who created the cosmos, stretched out the skies, laid out the earth and all that grows from it, who breathes life into earth's people, makes them alive after who breathes life into earth's people, makes them alive with his own life. I am God. I have called you to live right and well. I have taken responsibility for you, kept you safe. I have set you among my people to bind them to me and provided you as a lighthouse to the nations to make a start at bringing people into the open, into light, opening blind eyes, releasing prisoners from dungeons, emptying the dark prisons. I am God. That's my name. I don't franchise my glory. Don't endorse the no God idols. Take note. The earlier predictions of judgment have been fulfilled. I'm announcing the new salvation work. Before it bursts on the scene, I'm telling you all about it. Sing to God a brand new song. Sing his praises all over the world. Let the sea and its fish give a round of applause. With all the far-flung islands joining in, let the desert and its camps raise a tune. Calling the Kedar nomads to join in. Let the villagers in Selah round up a choir and perform from the tops of the mountains. May God's glory resound. Echo his praises from coast to coast. God steps out like he means business. You can see he's prime for action. He shouts, announcing his arrival. He takes charge and his enemies fall into line. I've been quiet long enough. I've held back, biting my tongue. But now I'm letting loose, letting go, like a woman who's having a baby, stripping the hills bare, withering the wildflowers, drying up the rivers, turning lakes into mudflats. But I'll take the hand of those who don't know the way who can't see where they're going, I'll be a personal guide to them, directing them through unknown country. I'll be right there to show them what roads to take. Make sure they don't fall into a ditch. These are the things I'll be doing for them, sticking with them, not leaving them for a minute. Father God, we just thank you so much that you promise to be with us every step of the way as we place our hand in yours. Even though, God, we may not know the way, it may seem overgrown or it may seem like there's unexpected curves or ups and downs. We thank you, Father, that you are faithful, that you are good and you are kind and you continue to show us the best way that you have for us to step perfectly in time with you in all of our days. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.